I love Merle Norman makeup um, and I especially love their blushes because they stay on all day long. Um, so there's 18 colors in the lasting cheek color. So that's this little guy right here. I'm just going to click into it. Um, they run about $23 online. There's already some that are sold out. <laughs> um, so let's just read the description here. Uh, you need a blush that lasts hours, not minutes. Perfect. Yes. This silky powder formula provides stay true, fade resistant color that glides on smoothly and blends easily. It's, it leaves a soft, translucent finish. That is perfectly written and perfectly said because it literally lasts all day long. Um, I love that it's, you know, it stays true. So the color that's swatched is the color that you get. Um, and yeah, it is a, it's very silky formula. So this is without my light. It's not a ring light. A lot of you probably be like, it's a ring. No, it's not a ring. It's just a mirror that has a light and it's really, really bright. So this is the color Queen of Hearts. And unfortunately they are um, retiring this one. And I did swatch it for you right here and I think it's more of a like a neutral pink it's kind of warmer compared to the other two but it actually is more of a neutral pink it's, it's coming it's coming off warm because these lights are yellow and that's why I try to get this light so it's like a like the truest natural light. I will turn it on in a minute after I feature all of it, uh, after you see all the colors in this yellow based light. Um, so the claims, they're talc free, in case you're kind of like one of those iffy people, like, oh, what's in it? Um, it's ophthalmologist tested. I'm not sure what that is. Um, safe for contact lens wearers, which, I guess <laughs> um, it's fragrance free, oil free, and gluten free. So in case you have a gluten allergy, that is really good to know. Thank you, Merle Norman. Um, so that one is Queen of Hearts. Also, you guys, if you are a dark winter, I am a dark winter, and these are dark winter approved colors, approved by myself. <laughs> um, so the next one is going to be in this palette right here that I've had for a really long time. Um, this was one of the first campaigns that I actually, when I started in 2017, um, I worked for Merle Norman uh, from 2017 to 2018-ish, 2019-18-ish. Um, I kind of took a break in between, but it was a very small break. So this was one of the ones that I learned and first came to Moro Norman about four. And so here it is. You can still get this palette online and I will link it below for anybody who really wants it. They have, all of these were eyeshadows and then this was also a, a blush color. Um, you can go online and look at the colors if you want to. Unfortunately, hardly any of the colors were for um, a dark winter like not all of them were for a dark winter like myself but this one is definitely a beautiful color this blush is gorgeous um, and they had a few other colors that would have worked for a dark winter like myself but again I chose to get rid of them um, so that color is swatched right here in the middle and it is definitely, it's called Pink Dream, and it is definitely a true um, pink. And I really love it. It has a, it's a blue pink. It's a perfectly blue pink. And so that is in the Jewel Box Eye and Cheek palette. Recommend you getting that. Um... The next thing that I'm going to 
talk about is another one of their blushes. So if I go back, and sorry for the dead air. This is their cheek crowns. I call them chubby sticks, but they're called cheek crowns. Um, and they have just a few. They have um, they have one that's uh, like a contour shade. They have one that's a highlight shade. Um, I really liked the highlight shade. I just don't have it because I have a different highlight right now. But this was in one of their specialty campaigns. Um, I think this was back in 20... 2020 or 2021. Um, so you've seen me use this before. This is the Cheek Crown and it is Plum Rose. And that is going to be this color right there. We'll swatch it again just so that it's a little bit deeper. So you can see that it has a little bit of plum, has a little bit of that rose uh, tone to it. What I love about these is that the description, they're so good at writing their descriptions. Um, easy to use crown with a velvety texture that enhances the cheek with blush, bronze, and highlight shades. Lightweight formula, perfect, yes. Um, applies like a cream, but wears like a powder. I love that. I, I don't like cream blushes that never dry down. That I mean, because they always stay creamy. I don't like that. So this dries down to a powder form. Um, blends and layers seamlessly on cheeks and face. Design for versatil versatility and convenience. And that's what it says. Um, again, it has all of the same stuff as the other one. It's, you know, dermatologist tested, free from alcohol, fragrance, gluten, oil, and paraffin. Paraff paraffins? Paraffins? <laughs> Parabens? I don't know. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these things. Um, so yeah, so it's got a lot of good stuff that it's not made with any, like, doesn't have any bad stuff in it. There, there we go. Uh, this one doesn't have a whole lot of shade range, um, which is okay because the other ones have a bunch of shades. Uh, some of them do have uh, sparkles in them. This one does not, it is a matte. Uh, formula that's why I chose it um, and that one again you can't really get that one uh, because it was on a special uh, campaign so I'm gonna just show you the colors the way they look in this yellow light I'm gonna turn on that bright light and I'll just show you with the colors with the bright light so still looks a little warm for this one, but that could just be bouncing off everywhere. Um, so I am wearing the Queen of Hearts, and I tried to get that color for you so you can kind of see it right here. It's not as strong as you would think it is. Let me open it up. I'm having a hard time opening it up, but yeah, so that is the color that I'm wearing, and my lighting sucks, you guys. I'm so sorry, but uh, it's very, very light. It's very natural looking, and that's why it's kind of like a neutral color. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just on the neutral side, which I can barely get away with. It's not really my ideal color, but it's it's nice to have a neutral color. So anyway, those are those colors again. That one's in the jewel box. This one is Plum Rose, and that one is Queen of Hearts. <sighs> All right, so <laughs> I'm done. I've made this video like three times now. Um, so anyway, 
I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that bright light out of my eyes. Um, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and help my channel grow. I'll see y'all next time.